Hey guys, it's Killer 124 and I'm just going to be remaking my Flash tutorials and hopefully they'll be in HD quality today or from now on. Um, I just figured out how to make them HD. So let's just get started. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create moving, um, well not necessarily a moving character but a moving object in your um, Flash file using ActionScript. So we're just going to create a new flash file action script 2.0. If you don't have this screen, you can just click file. Well, you can just click file new and then um something will pop up for you. Okay, I'll show you. File new and then this will pop up just choose flash file. And there's a whole bunch of things you can do. Um you can choose from templates for advertising and stuff there's pre-made ones but we're just gonna do a flash file action script 2.0 so just click OK there and then you should get a screen that looks like this this is your well where you, where you will be doing most of the stuff this is where you'll be drawing things this is where you'll uh, create your movie clips um, I forget what it's called but it's considered the um, yeah I can't remember it's the stage that's what it's called so this white is your stage that people will see and then the gray is just out the outside of your stage where people usually won't see and you can change the color in your properties panel um, to get to that you can click window properties or press control F3 or command F3 on a Mac and you can just change the color of it I'm just gonna leave mine white though so I'll just undo that and then we're gonna wanna get a few other frames up too so uh... if you don't already have these frames up I want you to go to window um... select library let me find it library you want your library window open mine's right here I have a couple windows open right here but I'm mainly on my properties here sometimes we'll be using the library and also go to window and actions actions will be a pretty big thing you you'll use a lot or semi a lot you know um this one's just a little bit below so I can kinda see what I'm doing as while I'm typing it too and then I can just click it to hide it so I have more space and then we'll want our timeline which is right here control T or command alt T I believe on a Mac I'm not sure what alt is for Mac uh, but we'll want that and oops um, you might want color so window color maybe a line for later in tutorials if I get with the lining sorry um, so you know window align but uh, that's it for now. This is all we'll have opened until later in later tutorials where we'll be doing more stuff. Um, and if you have any questions about the AI or whatever you like to call the flash uh, screen or whatever, you can just comment and I'll try to reply to you. Or if you have any questions about what I'm typing, uh, I'll also try to reply to you. But yeah, it should be in HD, so it should be pretty clear to see. But I'm not positive. Okay, so let's click on our rectangle tool, which oh, we also need the, our toolbar. That's pretty important. So go to Window Tools, and then you can just dock all these wherever you want. I like to keep my tools here: Timeline, Actions, Properties, Library, Color and Align. And this, this is just something for when I'm compiling something, because I I tend to type it all wrong a lot, and it'll just tell me what I typed wrong or you know for the most part okay so click on your rectangle tool or it might be a oval tool or an oval tool a rectangle primitive tool an oval primitive tool or a polystar tool I just want you to click down and hold and then you can let go and then select oval tool or you can just press O so now you can draw an oval uh, with the color right here this one that is your stroke this is like um it's like the sides of it like I have a small stroke right here if I just make the stroke bigger you can see the stroke oops a little too big let's make it like that see no 
like that. The stroke is on the outside, it like outlines it basically. But yeah, I'm just gonna turn off my stroke by selecting this one, which just is a uh, white with a line through it. And then you have a fill bucket one, which is the main color you use, which is whatever you have. And yeah, okay. So now you can draw an oval or a circle. To draw um, a pretty nice circle, just hold shift while you're clicking, and your circle will come out nice and circular. So I'm just going to draw one uh, about that size. And I'm just going to take my selection tool, or you can press V, and I'm just going to highlight it. Oh, and by the way, if you decide you like to change your hotkeys around, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and um no not preferences um edit keyboard shortcuts and you can mess around with it see you can change control n to like control f or something i'm not exactly sure what control f does but i've never used it okay so after you're on your selection tool i want you to just um highlight your circle or your oval or you could do a square if you wanted but I'm just going to be doing a circle for my tutorials, maybe different ones for different things, but I'm just going to go with the circle, and you can move it around now, um, and once you have it selected and there's a whole bunch of white dots around it, you can either press F8 to convert it to a symbol, or you can right click it and select convert to symbol. So we're just going to name this symbol, um, I'll just name him character and you see this registration set the registration to the bottom make sure the type is a movie clip and then you don't really have to worry about any of this but just make sure the registration is on the bottom just so we can later and we can have gravity and floors and stuff and just hit ok so now you should have something like this there should not be white dots anymore it should just be a, a tealish color circling around it well a box around it and okay so now go to your properties panel and where it says instance name just click on that and we'll give it an instance name of character just like that okay so now the instance name is character and in our timeline we will just create a new layer by clicking this little button here where we can go to insert timeline layer but I just like clicking that because it's much more convenient and on this layer you can rename it if you want I'm gonna name mine actions and I'm just gonna click on the first frame of it right here this is the frame we're in now we're in one and then this one's two three four five etc and so let's say if you created a new keyframe here um, it would just <coughs> excuse me it would just um, put whatever you have in the layer you copied and put it there but we're not gonna do that for now we'll just stick with using one frame until later tutorials okay so click back on your frame one of your actions and go to your actions frame by hitting either F9 or <coughs> hold on <coughs> sorry by hitting either F9 or clicking on your actions, which we had earlier. Oops. Okay, so now you should be in w line 1, and there should not be any code. So now we're going to start uh, st start typing a code. First, we'll type in speed, and then we'll put a colon, and then we'll put number, which means we'll put a var before speed so it looks var space speed colon number and then we'll put equals I'll put eight and then a semicolon semicolons aren't necessarily required but I'm used to doing that since I program in other languages languages which require it but you don't have to if you don't want to or at least I don't think you need to anyways so speed colon number means speed is a variable and it's strictly going to be a number it can't be like speed can't equal like vfk or something because that's a letter and not a ver number okay so we'll just go down a line or two i'll go two lines and we'll type in function right 